This is where it ends. She's La Jefa now. I got into this business to survive. Where are we going? You'll see. Empowered women empower others. Listen to women, believe in women, support women, because as a woman you have to be better, faster, stronger. I realized I wanted to become an actor very young. I was looking at a musical with my father and I thought it was fabulous to see that world. Then I went to the theater and I just reconfirmed that and I fell in love with it. I wasn't sure it was gonna happen for me, but I sure as hell was gonna try. But strong women like these need no one but themselves to root. I think the most important thing for me to overcome was labels. You know, we tend to label people every time we're different. It's difficult enough when you're um, a woman. It's even more difficult when you're part of a minority and when you're part of an age group that is older. I'm a 51-year-old Mexican actor. So that's probably the biggest obstacle. Shall we get on to business? Camila is probably one of the most delicious characters I've ever had the chance to play. She's strong, she's powerful, she's complex, she's independent, and I think a lot of women connect with that. I can take over the Mexican business with you as my supplier. And with my Viking as a governor, I'm confident we will prevail. Queen of the South promotes and empowers women because it's given the opportunity for female Latino actors to be in leading roles for the first time in a very long time. When my men are through with you, you're gonna regret the day you were born. I only regret not killing you along with Epifanio. It is important for young women to see Latino women playing roles in television to be represented. It's important because they can see that you can do it too. You failed me, General. I apologize. For me, my role models are women in general. Women that use their power to empower other women. Women that fight for what's right. Women that own their own beauty without letting anybody set a standard for them. The womanhood. The womanhood. My advice would be own your future. Don't let anybody tell you differently. And enjoy it because your future is yours.